Hello, this is Jeff with the Click Team, and today we're looking at some of our products and how to export out to the various build types and file formats that we support. What we have loaded up here in Multimedia Fusion is a basic Space Invaders game. And this is the same game that you can find online where we built in about five minutes. And it's just six events and some conditions, and you end up with a simple but pretty full featured Space Invaders game. Of course if you spent 10 minutes on this game you could make it a lot better. One of the most common questions I get at least people are confused on how to build the various run times and it's really not that complex. We just click on our game in the workspace toolbar and then down here in the application properties we have a build type and whatever we select here flash application for example I just go up to file build application and it's going to build what I selected so it's very easy if I want a Java Internet applet file build application now I'm building a Java Internet applet now the second most common question I get is which objects work in which run times and as you know multimedia fusion itself and the games factory comes with hundreds of objects Unfortunately, not all of them can be converted over to Java and Flash. If you set your build type here and then go in your frame editor and do an insert object, the object box is filtered. So it only has the objects relative to that runtime. There's the current list of Flash objects. If I'm over here and switch over to Internet Applet, then I have a list of all of the extensions I can use in that format. So that's a very handy way to plan ahead a little bit. If you know you're going to make a Flash game, when you start your creation, just set this to Flash. And then you know all of these objects will work. Okay, so everybody loves money. And the new Flash exporter has built in the Mocha Ads system. So I'm going to quickly go through and show you how that works. Get yourself on over to Mocha Ads and I have an account here I've already set up and I'm just gonna set up a new game and we're gonna set up our Space Invaders game and this game is 640 by 480 and okay this part is the one little confusing part I need to copy this code and I found the easiest thing to do is pop open a text editor and paste that in and then I want to copy this game ID and we won't save that over back in our game click on use mocha ads paste in our game ID and we're gonna put the ad at the start of the game okay let's get back over to mocha ads and I'm just going to do a fill out profile. Space Invaders, and we're going to put this at right, Let me copy this so I don't have to type that in again. And this is just Space Invaders. Don't die. Movement is with the arrow keys. Fire is with the space. All right, we need to upload a little graphic. Had one pre-made for us already there. Everyone can play this game. It's kind of an action game. Let's say the keywords are Space Invaders. And save. All right, that should be pretty good on setting our game up here so now let's go back to our game we have our add number in there start a game so we can build this and I'm just gonna go file build application space invaders save and this is gonna generate the SWF and the HTML file so as soon as that gets built it does take a little while for games to build I'm gonna go over to my FTP and I'm going to upload 
Space Invaders. There you are. Upload. Okay. Let's go over to a browser here. And let's hope I uploaded that to the right spot. Okay, and there's, as our game's loading, you can see the Mocha ads. Congrats, your game is communicating with the servers. And here's our Flash game running in the browser, and it's beautiful. So after Mocha ads has time to, oh, we're only 95% created on our profile. Um, takes them 24 hours to approve the game and then you will start generating money from your flash creation well hopefully that uh, helps you guys and gives you a little bit more information on exactly how easy it is to make a flash game thanks